Hello and welcome. Please pause this video and try the problem on your own. Alright, so they tell us here that the graph of the equation y equals a times x squared is shown below. So remember, if you're dealing with x squared, um, typically what you're dealing with is this shape here, this curve, which is called a parabola. Parabola. And we're going to explore in this problem um, how we can predict uh, some of the basic properties of this para parabolic or para parabolic shape or a parabola. Because here they say if a is multiplied by negative one half, uh, the graph of the new equation is which is the following: wider opens downward, wider opens upward, narrower and opens downward, and narrower and opens upward. So let's pull up a um, little graph I made on GeoGebra understand how this a term affects your uh, parabola in general. So I have the equation y equals one half x squared. Now in this in this problem, they don't specify the number a, right? I'm just going to put in one half there. Or let's make it really easy. Let's make it one. Right? Let's say we start with y equals x squared, or y equals one times x squared. If I multiply that by negative one half, what do I get? Well, let's just go over the algebra really quick. So if we say y is equal to one times x squared, so suppose here a is 1, and we multiply um, a by negative 1 half, that means a times negative 1 half would equal 1 times negative 1 half because a is 1, right? So that's negative 1 half. So now our equation would be not y equals 1 times x squared, but negative 1 half x squared. So let's just look at what happens if we graph negative 1 half x squared. So slow, not decreasing the a value, look how our parabola changes. A is zero, look what happens. As soon as it becomes negative, instead of these are the positive numbers here as I increase it, what happens is they become negative. Do you see what happened there to the parabola? It goes from a smile to a frown. If your A value is negative, right, in this problem, the way it's set up, right, your smile, your parabola, becomes a frown here. In our case, we have negative one half, right? It's like this. Three, four, five. So initially, let's go back. In our case, we had, sorry, y equals 1x squared. So this narrow shape right here. Then if it's negative 1 half, in other words, it's wider than it was and upside down. Before we had a narrower graph, and now it's wider and upside down. So what's going on here? So again, key things to observe is if your a value is positive, you have a smile. If your a value is zero, it's a flat line, it's just zero. If your a value is negative, the parabola becomes a frown. Now what happens as I increase the absolute value of the a value? Remember, absolute value is positive or negative. Um, positive or negative numbers are positive with absolute value because it's distance from zero. So words, as I increase this number towards five, notice how the graph becomes narrower. That's because, in effect, it's becoming steeper, right? So the higher that number, the steeper the graph. The same is true for negative numbers. As I increase the absolute value, 0.1, 2, 3, it's becoming more negative, but the absolute value is increasing. My graph becomes narrower and narrower and narrower and narrower and so forth, where it's becoming steeper, it's decreasing at a steeper rate. So here, what's going on in this problem is that whatever my initial A value is, so if it's one or whatever, if I multiply it by a half, right, it becomes wider because the absolute value of A is decreasing, it's less. It's a slower rate of change, right? And just because it's negative doesn't change anything. It's a slower rate of change, so it's a wider graph and it's upside down. So again, we go from, in this case, one x squared all the way to negative one half x squared. It's a wider graph and upside down. All right, here, that means it's wider and opens downward. 